This is a biohackers update. This week I had the unpleasant experience of being invited to a funeral of my sister. She informed us by WhatsApp that her daughter, her oldest daughter, almost 46 years of age, just collapsed in the garden and died in the arms of her husband. Sad scenario. What does that have to do with a biohacker? See, I wondered if our life is a question mark, an asterisk, or is our life even on hold? The majority of people don't realize that when you face a situation like this, my sister, her husband were away, but, and they faced this. What do you do? And in a very short time, I saw them in action, and I really came to respect him. He had to speak, comfort people while he was hurting himself. As a person that is confronted with a major problem like death, that is where you show who you are. What would you do? Did you tweak your life enough? Did you, were you willing to change even your thinking? Because life is like a garden. Each time we have those little seeds and seeds that's what comes in through our ears, through our eyes. Also, sometimes through our nose, we smell something. And quite often, because of our mouth. We say, we pick up, we hear. And then it starts to work in our mind. We start to live in a certain way because we think this is the way it ought to be. And when we change our mind, and I purposely point at my mind, because most people don't think it is here, the 12 inches between our ears, that determines your life. A biohacker is nothing else but a person that takes control of his mind and understands that every day a little change can make your life better because it is what you Think in your mind. That is what determines your outcome. When you face a challenge in your life, how do you respond? Are you ready? Are you strong enough to work with this? Or do you collapse? Is your life a question mark? Is it an asterisk? Or is your life on hold? My friend, I urge you, not only to stand still for a moment as we're talking about this, but do something about it. Change your mind. Be willing to accept the fact like I was overweight and I knew it. But you know, somewhere, somehow we had gone through so much pressure for so long, I couldn't care less. But it started to bug me. I knew I had to take control. And over the last several months, I lost over 10 kilos. Is it possible? Yes, it is possible. You know, because I had to change my mind. I'd heard it so often, oh, you gotta lose weight, but something had to turn around in my mind. Same with you. When you face situations in your life, maybe it's weight loss, maybe it's health, maybe it's a little thing here. I was limping for years because something had happened. 20 years, pain, like there was no tomorrow but a change in my mind. I said, I don't take it anymore. What can I do? And there are many things that you can do as a biohacker, taking control of your health, yourself, not because of what the doctor says or that person said, but because you discovered something. You had to change your mind and you did. And therefore, together with your wife, together with your children, you can live a life that's rich and full because you change your mind. And that change can totally change everything. But if you are manipulated by others, by their greed or greed, then I'm sorry. You, deep down in your heart, you know that something needs to either disappear or you need to cut it down, or you need to bring in some other seeds so that you start to believe in something positive. Because those are the moments of reality. What is it what you think deep down in your heart? Because what you think in your head, in your mind, that is what your circumstances will be. If you think defeat, that's what you will have. If you think victory, 
it eventually will find a way how to get out of that situation. This is another day in the life of a biohacker. God bless you. And remember, tough times never last. Tough people do. And I wish all those that have been hurting and facing a situation like I did this week of having to bury somebody that you love or that you know, if it hurts, please think about it. Change your thinking and it will change your world. God bless you.